Today we are playing Karma. So you can play this with just a regular deck. Uh, Dad and I have tried before one night when the kids were in bed and it's it's not the easiest. Highly recommend um, the actual deck that you can get from the store. As you can tell ours is well loved. Very well loved. It is probably our most played card game in, in the family. So this deck comes with numbered cards as you can see and the goal is to build up and place higher than the previous player so if the previous player were to place two twos you could either place another two or you could place a card higher so an eight so you don't have to place the same amount of cards it just has to be the same number or higher there are also what they call karma cards. So I'll lay out a couple of them here. There is give the pile to a friend. So that is the discard pile. You give it to whichever player you want. There is play a table card. And I'll show you what a table card is once we set up the game. Bottoms up. So I'll bring back my example pile here. Bottoms up just means you bring the bottom card and you place it on the top. There is five or below. As it says, you must place play a card that is five or less. And I believe that is it for the karma cards. So there's those four karma cards. You can play them whenever you want. I'm just going to do a quick shuffle here, and then we'll show you how to lay out your card. So, first of all, you will deal three cards to each player. Do not look at your cards. These cards remain upside down in front of you. As so. One, two, and three. These are table cards. They are always blind. Like they're, you can, you can never look at them. So at the end of the game, you can't play these until your hand is empty. So let's say there's a pile, this is what you have left. You would flip one over. If you win, you win. If you don't, you have to pick up the whole pile. You never look at these cards. You just play them. All right. Then you're going to deal six cards to each player. Now these cards you will look at. Like so. So these six cards, you will choose three of them to play on top of these blind cards. So the best cards to play are going to be your highest cards. That's usually how I recommend. Let's, yeah, we'll go like that. So now you'll have three cards in your hand and six cards in front of you. Okay, so as you can see, Ryder, you laid down three karma cards on top. That's a good move too, because you can't be penalized. You can play these whenever. Even if you have, whether it's a low number or a high number, you can play these whenever. So this is a good option too. There's nothing wrong with this. You must always have minimum three cards in your hand. You pick up after you play. So I'm going to go ahead and start. And the goal is you want to play your lowest card first. So, sorry, Dad. <clears throat> 15. After I play, 
I pick up. Now dad will play a card higher or I, the same. I have nothing higher, so. So he will pick up the deck. That is his turn. He does not have to draw from here. It's Lily's turn. Two 11s. Okay, Lily will pick up two. Ryder played a third 11. Once you have three of the same number, you clear the table. And then Ryder will pick up one card. So now I have an empty table to play again. I'm gonna play my 14. 15, 15. So, oh, and I'll go back here for a second. Dad did not pick up because he had four cards in his hand. So remember, you only have to pick up Trying from here. Up to three. Up to three. So Ryder played five or below. So I have to play card five or less. I'm going to go ahead and play bottoms up because I know it's high. And I know that dad does not have high cards. Lily played a two. Oh, and I forgot to pick up. Go ahead, Ryder. Five. I'm going to go ahead and play a table card. So play a table card. I can take one of these and play it down. Normally you can't touch these until your hand is empty. Unless you have the play a table card. Go ahead, Dad. Fourteen. Sixteen. Ryder, do you have a sixteen? So 16 is the highest number. He does not have one. He does not have a karma card that he wants to play, so he has to pick up the whole pile. I played a two. Dad? Seven. Seven. Play a table card two. All right, so two. And I'm gonna go ahead and play my 16 and then draw. We're going to go ahead and speed it up here uh, till near the end, and then we'll stop it once we're trying to play these blind cards on the bottom here. So we'll stop it then. Now that we're kind of getting some, well, we're not really getting anywhere. We're just picking up huge hands here. Um, it was pointed out. So remember I said you can't start playing these cards that are face up until your hand's gone unless you have a play a table card. The follow-up rule to that is the ones that are upside down, you cannot play those until your three right side up cards are gone. So... You can see Lily here just has the three blind cards. She can now start playing them, but she will have to play them without looking. So whose turn is it? Mine. Okay, so Ryder's gonna play, give the, give the pile, pile to, to a, a friend. friend. Who are you giving it to? Friendly. To Lily, kind of figured. And these always go and discard every time they're played. Give yes. the pile, never get played twice. Yes, the rest of them can get played as many times. They get given to each player, but yes, give the pile to a friend is always discarded once it is played. Ryder gave me a clear table here, so I'm going to go ahead and play my low cards. Lily, your turn. And we'll go ahead and unpause it for a little bit here. Well, you know what? Ryder's almost out here, so he's, he's given another pile to a friend, so discard, and he gave it to Dad. Clear table for me. Six. Nope. Okay, so blindly, Ryder had to play that. It was a 16, he played a nine. He has to pick up the pile. So now he'll have to now he'll have to play that pile out before he can play these again, unless he has a play a table card. Okay. What do you got, Ryder? Um, 
from 16s. Okay, bottoms up. Lily? Ryder? Oh, he's got to pick up the pile. I'm going to play my two eights. All right, because we're picking up more cards than we're laying down here. Oh, so as you can see, Lily played a play a table card. She was able to play one of those blind ones there. So awesome move to have those play a table cards using them later in the game. But like I said, we all have pretty huge hands right now. So I think we will speed it up for a little bit and we'll come back at the end of the game. All right, so we're getting near the end of the game, so I thought I would unpause it here. So I'm gonna play a table card. Okay. Okay, there's no card, so I'm gonna go ahead and play that one. There's 15s in there, I know that. Yeah. Okay. Ryder. Oh. Clear. Okay. Lily. So remember, Ryder has to now get rid of what's in his hand before he plays this last card. Okay, I got to beat a five. Which one? Let's go with this one. Oh. Really? <laughs> wow. Wow. That was horrible. Now I'm kind of stuck here. Okay, see, that's where no good. So as you can see, Lily has no cards in front of her. She only has two cards in her hand. So she has the greatest possibility of going out here, so. And, and okay, unless they're not the same. Play a table card. So she had no table cards left, so she can play one from her hand. So she did, and Lily won the game. And that's karma. What do you guys think of karma? I love it. Love it. Everybody loves this game. It's always fast and... It is. Super fast. Yeah, so we stopped... Yeah. It took us 19 minutes, and that was with explaining at the beginning, so I bet you the game that's, took us 15, 15 minutes. Uh, we can do a game of karma in 10, yeah. when, we, when we play and we're serious. When we play quick. So that's it, so keep playing and have fun. <laughs> <laughs>